Welcome, welcome everybody to another episode of Sarcasm and Motherfucking Orgasms. I'm your host, Will. Thank you for listening, tuning in, and watching. So, before we get started, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment to the channel. So you can get your daily dose of everything sarcastic with some orgasms. So, don't forget to, you know, subscribe to the channel. So, you know, you can always stay up on what's going on. So, you know how we do it. Let's get sarcastic. is tired of playing the game yes yes who is tired of playing the game it is this dating game or i like to call it the what's your favorite color game because we all go through we all go through the same rinse and repeat process of we're asking somebody who they are what they are what they like what they don't like what's your favorite color etc and we get sick of it we really get sick of it because sometimes we set ourselves up for failure now when i say failure it's because we get interested in that person we start talking to them we're liking them we may hit them with the hey stranger text but then again at the same time we also are setting ourselves up because we might not know if it's going to work out we all know when it comes to dating that is a 50 50 chance that this person may like you or may not like you it is a 50 50 chance that this person is willing to put up with your ignorant stupid self it is a 50 50 chance that you are willing to stop your hoeing days your hoeing to be with one person whether you're male or female we all take this chance with somebody it doesn't matter now what we do not seem to consider is when we're doing this what we're about to get into because we can all ask the same person like are you crazy like, do you got anything going on that I need to know about? And they'll be like, oh, no, I'm good. I don't do no crazy stuff. Blah, 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 blah. But we all know we find that one chick or that one dude who had a crazy ex that just really messed them up. And then they bring those traumas and those triggers into this relationship. But it's not fair because you should always be open and honest about who you are from the start. We know that sometimes we get so infatuated and we're so lusting after this person because, yes, they're attractive from head to toe. They might check all your boxes, but what they don't do is they don't bring that honesty. In relationships, people don't bring honesty because they're not honest about themselves. I always like to ask like do you love yourself because in order to love me you gotta love you first and a, lot of and a lot of people are not loving themselves they're not figuring out who they were before they got in that tumultuous relationship as to now like are you good are you healed as we all know what's your favorite color you're asking it for a reason because when you ask it you're psychologically setting yourself up to make sure that you're okay with how this person is you're okay with immersing yourself in their life and them in yours you have to you have to know how things work and people don't people don't take the time we're we're so caught up in like oh begging body deaf mind she got everything or he looks good he has this and he has that he has He has his own everything. He's not staying with his parents. He ain't got multiple kids. He's got a good car, great job, blah, blah, blah. But what about the mindset? Are people physically fit mentally to instill themselves with you? What is your favorite color, people? You need to start saying this to each and every person to know who you're dealing with. Because when you know who you're dealing with, you have a better chance at not doing the same uh, rinse and repeat type of deal you have to start breaking these things down breaking these characteristics to know like who you're dealing with everybody is not the same and let me say this everybody is not the same because everybody keeps thinking oh you are just like my ex no i'm not like your ex i'm not going to put up with the same things that your ex did to you or you did to them you have to be able to willing to break the chain
break the chain, then you become a better person. What is your favorite color? Well, I like to tell people this. I'm not crazy. And when they say why, I was like, well, I like to take all my medicine at the beginning of the month. That way, I just get it over with. It's a nice joke, but then I'm not serious. But it lets you know that I am up on my mental. I have been able to mentally evaluate myself and know that I'm okay upstairs. And when I'm okay upstairs, then my heart is okay as well because they are linked together. You have so many people where they don't have their mind and their heart links to where something is breaking, uh, breaking the 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 pathway to where you know everything intertwines, connects, go from here to there. So, what is your favorite color? We need to stop playing this game because we are we are all getting to a place in our ages to where we're tired of dealing with the BS. We're tired of going from club to club. Or from app to app because it seems like that's now where everything else is going all on through our phones and through social media of some sort so we should be tired of stop dealing with the same toxicity and chain of command when it comes to dating because dating can really suck for a lot of people if you're not serious and you don't take it serious you can like find somebody that you can really fuck over really bad and next thing you know you done fucked up over a piece of gold that was just very, very rare to find. Because there are some gems out here. There are some really, really, really good gems out here. But it almost takes the time and the effort to find out just how golden, just how golden this gem you found might be. And it's all on you. It really is. So, stop playing the what's your favorite color game. Be serious with your intentions and other people's feelings. Because the moment that you take uh, their feelings into consideration is the moment that you can really, truly care and love for somebody. Really can. So, stop playing the game. Because the game is going to be there no matter what. Like, the players may change, but the game will never change. It will always remain the same. Always. So, really people, what's your favorite color? So this has been another episode of Sarcasm and Motherfucking Orgasms. I'm your host, Will, and if you like this, make sure you go down, you comment, you subscribe to the channel, you know, give a like. And then if you want to find out more, go ahead and check out my YouTube, well, not my YouTube page, because we're on YouTube. <laughs> but go over and check out my Instagram page, follow me there, that's Sarcasm2 underscores orgasm and we can always keep up on the sarcasm. So, this has been another episode. And you know how to do it. Let's get sarcastic.